subscribe, like, and share. Episode 48, St. Abadir and his sister Iri. Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived two siblings named Abadir and Iri. They were the children of Wazalides, the minister of Antioch. Abadir held a high-ranking position in the government, known as Esfay Sealer. However, their lives took a remarkable turn when they encountered a divine message. One night, as Abadir was praying in his room, the Lord Christ appeared before him and said, Rise up, take your sister Iri, and go to Egypt. There, you shall receive the crown of martyrdom. The Lord assured him that a man named Samuel would take care of their bodies and prepare them for burial. Iri also had a similar vision, urging her to obey her brother's command. When Iri woke up, trembling with fear and excitement, she rushed to Abadir and shared the vision with him. They both made a solemn vow to each other that they would willingly give their lives for the sake of their faith in the Lord Christ. Upon hearing of their intentions, their mother was filled with grief and begged Abadir not to become a martyr. To ease her worries, Abadir promised her that he would not seek martyrdom from Diocletian, the ruler at the time. Unbeknownst to her, Abadir had different plans. Every night, Abadir secretly changed his clothes and went out in disguise. He provided water to prisoners and ministered to them throughout the night, urging the doorkeeper to keep his actions a secret. One night, Abadir had another vision, reminding him of his journey to Egypt. Taking his sister Iri, Abadir traveled to Alexandria and then made their way to Cairo. Along the way, they met a holy man named Saint Abekragon, who recognized them and blessed their journey. Continuing their pilgrimage, they arrived at Tamwa, where they entered a church to pray. Their next destination was El Ashminan, where they met a deacon named Samuel. The following day, Samuel accompanied them to Encina, where they boldly confessed their faith in Lord Christ before Arianus, the governor. In response, they were subjected to severe torture. During their suffering, Abadir prayed fervently, asking God to strengthen his own faith and that of his sister Iri. Their prayers were answered when the Lord took their souls and carried them to the heavenly Jerusalem, where they beheld the magnificent ranks and luminous homes of the righteous. Afterward, the Lord brought them back to their bodies. The governor, witnessing this extraordinary event, was shaken to the core. He asked Abadir to reveal his true identity and name. Abadir, aware of the governor's fear, responded, Swear to me that you shall not change what you have decreed. The governor, desperate for answers, agreed. Abadir revealed, I am Abadir L.S. Faisaler. Upon hearing this, the governor cried out in despair, realizing that he had condemned his own lord to such torturous acts. Abadir comforted him, saying, Do not fear, for you are about to receive the crown of martyrdom. The emperor will seek me in vain, hearing that you have killed me. He will summon you, torture you, and you shall die in the name of our Lord Christ. Now, hasten to finish our lives. With a heavy heart, the governor ordered their heads to be severed. The believers lovingly wrapped their bodies in fine garments, and Samuel the deacon took them to his house, protecting them until the days of persecution ended. Eventually, a grand church was built in their honor. And so, the story of Abadir and Iri, the brave siblings who sacrificed their lives for their faith, teaches us the importance of devotion and courage. Their unwavering commitment to their beliefs inspires us to stand up for what is right, even in the face of adversity. Their story reminds us that true faith is a powerful force that can guide us through the darkest times, leading us to eternal glory. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.